Every time we go camping, he gets wood. I bet it's good. If it's not, then it'll be gross. The fat floating on the surface will be really good. It's gonna smell like meat around here. Mm. Wow, this is actually made with the skin of... Previously on Lost. Today we are going camping in the Tillamook State Forest. Head shake. Oh yeah, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Bad, 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 okay. Oh shit. Oh no. On the road again. I've earned this. And now, the conclusion. So I made it, look who's here. Hey, beards, bikes, and camping, which is what's happening right now, is here. Mine's clear on the other side of the table. Yeah, we're uh, I'm failing. Uh, I'm breaking the rule, and uh, I'm, I'm doing step two before step one, but that's all right, this is only two beers worth. And it's, too, it's way warmer than it should have been, because I should have been here hours ago, so I'm just trying to get it while well, it's still kind of cold. So I had a little trouble getting here. I had to change a flat and drop my bike twice. I only got one on camera, but. I didn't even turn the camera on when I picked it up the second time. I was just like, this is stupid. We're here at Jones Creek, which is coincidentally where the event we're attending tomorrow is. The cleanup. I'm just going to finish up the last. There's this much left in here. And I'll set my tent up. Trash just went to get some firewood. So our first campfire in months. Here on the west side of the mountains of the summit here in the coast range, the fire danger is only moderate right now. So you can actually have a fire, but only on the west side. You can't even have one on the east side because it's so much different. So it's much damper on this side. So stoked to have a campfire. Haven't had one in a while. And I'm gonna get my tent set up and then it's time to cook dinner. I brought something interesting that I've never cooked before. So we're gonna see if it works or not. But first, tent. Actually first beer, then tent, then dinner, then more beer. I earned this one today, guys. Earn this one. Look at this guy. I one. Wood. Fully at gat. Two. He's got wood again. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Don't pay attention to all that. I'll stay behind the bike. Every time we go camping, he gets wood. <laughs> Have you noticed? It's getting a little embarrassing. Well, here it is. I love hauling wood on motorcycles. It fascinates me for some reason. Thanks, man. Yep. Second beer opened. After this, it's whiskey time. I don't know what else to do. Beards has got a fire going because he's a badass. Beards is such a weird thing to call you. So I'm so happy it's okay to call you Travis. Uh, so I'm trying something different for dinner. I've been lazy the last couple times. I've been doing mountain house meals and they're not great. They're great for in a pinch, they're easy, but the other thing is it's not interesting video content and they're so fast, it's like they're done and then what else do you do with your knife? I'm gonna make pulled pork and, I, and I'm gonna do it with, I have this canned, I know, Sounds weird, but I bet it's good. If it's not, then it'll be gross. But um, canned pulled pork from Costco. I saw this at Costco and was like, that'd be perfect for camping. I brought two cans. So I'm gonna open these cans. I'm gonna heat them up. I got barbecue sauce and I brought two buns. So I'm gonna make pulled pork sandwiches. And um, I didn't know if we'd be able to have a fire. So I'm, uh, I didn't bring anything to cook on the fire. So I'm just gonna use my jet boil with the pot holder. This is an extra thing that you can buy and it fits right down in the kit. So I always have it with me. It's kind of slick. So I'm just going to heat up this pulled pork and I'm going to open it. I got a new Leatherman. This is the Leatherman Signal. This is the outdoorsman version. It has a bunch of like survival camping specific tools. Like there's a ferro rod right here and a knife sharpener. It's got a can opener, which I'm going to use, but this is a cool little product. 120 bucks for the Leatherman, which is a lot, but they have a kit, like a survival kit, which I didn't bring, but it comes with a bag that's got like a Mylar blanket and a water purifier and a pull rope full fire starter and a bunch of other stuff. And that I got for $10 more. So I felt like that was a pretty good deal. It's got a hammer for driving tent sticks, stuff like that. But anyway, what we're after on this one is just, we're gonna use the can opener. I actually have the Moto Camp Nerd can opener. I just don't know how to use the damn thing. I have yeah, it with, with me. me. I can show you. Yeah. Well, what's more fun? Maybe we should open one can with each. It's, it's got a name, it's like a P38 or something like mm -hmm. that. Moto Camp Nerd sometimes throws these in with orders. And so I just keep one in my kit just for the hell of it. But uh, Beard's just gonna show us how this bad boy works. And I'm gonna open the other can with this thing because I want to, because I bought it. it. Cost me $120, I should use it. It's like a blade pee. flips out like that. So 90 degree angle, right? You got that little notch right there. 
get in close. That notch goes on the edge of the can, like that. And you just go, whoa. Just like So it's exactly that. like the other one. Like that. But you even just, slower. Just work your way around the can. I don't even know if that's on camera. Yeah. Look at this guy. These are uh, packed in water, and I'm actually gonna cook it in the water, I think. I might even add some. And then I'll drain that shit off because I can with my with the lid of my X pot. Where are you gonna get the extra water from, pray tell? I might have to milk a manta ray. We'll see. Oh my we'll goodness. see what happens. Ah, There's here. a couple of them flocking around. Here, you need practice. Thanks, you man. I you know, almost conned you into opening my dinner for me. I know. God, I got halfway. <laughs> it was working so good. <laughs> Teach me, buddy. Anyway, thanks, Model Camp Nerd, for throwing this in. I didn't pay for it. He just puts them in with orders. Handy little things. He's a cool guy like that. So I'm just gonna put those, those, I try to say those and these at the same time, in here, and if there's enough water, I'm just gonna heat it up, and then I'll drain it off and eat the pork, but let me open the other one first. So, Leatherman can opener. I'm gonna use that to open this. This other can. Which one's faster, do you think? Probably the other one, although this isn't too bad. My guess is, this being Costco stuff, it's probably not bad. Like, the yeah, idea of canned pulled pork sounds disgusting to me, but... Usually if you get it from Costco, it's not terrible. That does not look appetizing. I'm just gonna say it, but the fat floating on the surface will be really good, flavorful when it melts into the thing. That doesn't look good. It looks like toxic waste, but we're gonna eat it. We're gonna try this. This is the first time I've actually ever... Oh, that's not very pulled. Okay. It looks a little bit like pickled pig's feet. It might take them a little while to cook, but... Hey, that's part of the adventure. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to heat this up. And then I guess I'll break it up once it's cooked. That's weird. It is weird, I don't know. All right, let's see how much fuel we waste. Harvest Creek pulled pork and water. This might have been a terrible idea, we'll find out. Give it a minute. Have faith, you know? It's gonna be fine. It's starting to cook, I'm just gonna let it simmer for a little bit. I have no idea at what point, I guess it's already cooked, I'm just heating it up, so it's probably fine. I'm gonna let it simmer just a little longer. It won't be the worst thing I've eaten all day because I ate twice on my bike. So this X-Pot has a built-in strainer, you can see it right here. So I'm gonna strain this out. <laughs> oh, no, oh! What do I do? I collapse my pot. Is that not on camera? It isn't. Thank you for helping with the important I guess I'm straining it this way. I somehow collapsed this pot. It's too hot to touch. What do I do? Uh, I guess I'll just strain it now. <laughs> it's gonna smell like meat around here. <laughs> Look at this. I'm a fucking idiot. Not smart, not smart. Two giant beers and then cooking, so smart. This is gross. I was trying to like lock the lid in and I pushed down and that was obviously a mistake. But the strainer works. I'm not a smart man. First thing I do when he collapses his pot is grab the camera. Which is very helpful, actually. <laughs> I'm pleased for that. Sorry, dude. That's literally no, what first look, instinct. Look, the leak grows out all over and I got nothing to clean this up with. Dork in the road. Oh, it's too hot. Oh, it's still not fixed. No, Here. bro. Here. Oh! <laughs> That's on camera too. There's a lot of fails. That's funny, I was just rehearsing my presentation for Touratech today, and there's a whole bit about how I, you know, I strive to include all the dumb shit I do so that people can see that it's not always perfect and you can still have fun even if you're an idiot. And there's lots of examples of that in this video. I strained it. This actually doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. All right, so I brought barbecue sauce because I'm not just gonna eat this crap. So we're gonna dump it in. Coincidentally, and we did not discuss this ahead of time, Travis also brought barbecue sauce mm -hmm. in the same size container. Our wives buy the same Tupperware. Let's hope this is enough barbecue. It's not, I would like more than this. I can already tell, but you know what? It's gonna do the job. It smells good now, it smells less gross, which is, you know, the ultimate qualification for a meal. Take a look at that. It smells good. Uh, this might be good. Okay, well, it's not like fresh out of the ground pig, good but it's not bad put it on a bun see what happens it's fun on a bun so i dropped my bike on these buns they're actually in reasonably good shape still okay that's actually pretty smashed but you know what it's still edible this isn't bad you should have a bite it looks edible. 
So I'm glad I put the fat in and let it kind of just boil in. And look, I have this much left. It's not terrible. So I'm gonna eat. I'll share, obviously, but. That is actually really heavy duty. I like that. This is not terrible. I was skeptical when I first opened the can, but at least cooking it this way, it's not too bad. I can't believe you haven't lost one of those yet. I definitely would have lost one by now. Now that I'm filming, it's the time to do it. He insists that I eat one and I'm not rude, so I'll eat it. And while that pulled pork was edible, it wasn't fantastic. So Broths are always good. They're brat flavored brats. Oh, I've missed campfire so much. This has been a terrible, like this happens every summer, but it's not usually, it used to be that the campgrounds never even got shut down. So you yeah. could still just go to a campground and have a campfire. And the last few years it's been even, even campfires are getting, or even campgrounds are getting shut down. So it's so nice to be able to have a campfire. Like it's been since May, I think, since we've been allowed to have one. And it is, it is September. So it's a long summer with no campfires. It's interesting. I get so many mixed comments on my Mr. Puff Puff. Some people are like, stop glorifying tobacco use, slash have one, but we don't want to hear about it. And other people are like, what are you smoking? What is that? Tell us more about it. What does it taste like? What are the notes? It's just really true that you can't please everybody. And so the only thing I know how to do is be me. So I like to talk about them a little bit and have a little drinky drink. That's what that's one of my favorite parts of camping. So I'll keep mentioning it. And uh, I apologize if you don't like it. I do try to mention that this isn't something that you should in indulge in. It's bad for you. But uh, I only really do it when I'm camping. Have you still been keeping up with them? <laughs> Just riding straight across the street. It was so damn funny. Even my wife laughed at it. But for her, the perfect bike would be an FC225 or Sierra 230, a 250-pound air-cooled carburetor. So I was just standing up a lot, things like that, but it's so fun. God, it's fun. Well, it's a shame they don't make those anymore. This is a great sight, honestly. Dude, that's as quiet as tunnel it was. Yeah. The fire pit's worth it. Um, this section of the Wilson River is beautiful too. Lots of really cool swimming pools and the, the trails go right down to it. We have said probably 15 times, so nice to have a campfire. I miss that. I don't know. I always like to turn on the light because I feel like I should check in when I'm making a video about camping, but we're just sitting around the campfire bullshitting. It's, uh, it's what you do. I'll say this in every video too. It's about 8 o'clock. Oh, I'm very full. Trying not to drink too much whiskey, so I'm functional for tomorrow, but I have a lot of it. ibuprofen if I need it. <laughs> I'll help you drink your whiskey. There you go. The beer is going to help me out, so it won't go to waste. People walking by the campsite are looking at us like, like what the hell are these guys doing? Uh, we're, we're influencers. We're influencing people. We are. I'm trying to influence you to go camping. Is it working? If it works, give me a thumbs up if you want to go camping when you watch these videos. Anyway, we're just hanging out, chilling. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Theoretically, or when I get in the tent, who knows what will happen. Or like a big party could erupt. Probably not. It's tent time. Almost 10. I'm gonna settle in, try to get some sleep. I don't have to get up super early, but early enough to get packed up and be at the event so that we can help clean up the forest. It's so exciting, so. Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the adventure so far. If you are, maybe hit the like button or even subscribe if you want to see more camping adventures. Also, make sure you check out Beard's channel. I'll link that for you up here. He's going to have, he's got all kinds of cool mobile camping videos. And I think he's the best ADV YouTuber you're not watching. So you should be. Going to go to sleep. That's what you do at night when you're camping. And catch up with you in the morning. Good night.
Nature is it's truly a wonderful, wonderful thing. And it's astounding what you can discover if you just look around and open your eyes. I don't know how or why. Maybe they've chosen me in some way. But every time I've camped this summer, there's been at least one Sea to Summit Green Manta Ray nesting near my camp. And it's crazy, but this time, there's two. Again, look. Maybe they're a mated pair. I don't know. The easy way to tell is to extract the milk. And it has a different flavor if they're in heat. So uh, we're going to extract the milk. I'm being kind of quiet because we don't want to spook them. But uh, the one over here closest to my, my bike, I believe, is the one that has chosen to follow me around. So the, the trick is to approach silently, be respectful, and at times, if you're careful, you can extract the sustenance you require. It's really a symbiotic relationship. So they're happy to provide if you approach in an appropriately respectful manner. Now, if you haven't developed the proper antibodies, uh, see the summit green manta ray fluid. It's really milk, but you know, people that makes people squeamish. Can be toxic if you don't boil it. So, I've got most of them. I'm pretty sure from interacting with them over the years. And like I said, I trained at the Steve Irwin Institute, where you know we we were exposed to them repeatedly in the, in the hopes that we would build those antibodies. But it's always good to demonstrate a proper procedure. So I'm going to boil this uh, before I use it to make coffee. It's so weird because I can see the spark. I don't know why it doesn't work. I have the worst luck with these little stoves. Now we wait. This jet boil is actually the same color as the manta rays. And that's because it's got a special coating on the inside that makes it particularly good for uh, harvesting, cooking, boiling, and uh, you know, enjoying their, their milk. It can be quite venomous if you're not, if you're not careful. Just be careful. Yeah, well, this is actually made with the skin of... With this? <laughs> yeah, it's, so they, they smell it and think, oh, that's another one of us. So it lets you get close enough to milk it. Yeah. You try to use a different setup, you can get pretty hurt. Right. They spray. I've heard they're vicious. Yeah, they are, they're not afraid to spray you uh, with their venom. And like I said, no antibodies equals your dead. It's really about the approach, though. The careful approach, I think, is the most important part of it, of the whole process. Your, your 1920s silent movie approach. <laughs> Sneaky villain. <laughs> like, that's a lot of coffee. Very awake for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. Looks like coffee. So had my coffee, took care of my morning business, and now it's time to pack up. Uh, we got to meet. So it's about what time is it? Eight fifteen or so. Yeah, we got We got like two hours, so we're gonna pack up slow, and we'll meet the group at ten over. Actually, the Deus area is right behind us, so that's where they're gonna be. Uh, but I'll get everything back on the bike because if I don't, I'm just gonna sit here and think about packing up. So I might as well just get it done and then relax afterward. I'll just leave space to put my chair on top. So let's do that. I want to be sure that I recorded this part because this is where the magic happened. Uh, the most versatile piece of camping clothing I own is these pants. They're also the most dad piece of clothing that I own.
but uh, I'm gonna zip off the bottom half of the legs and wear these under my riding pants because we don't really know what if we're gonna ride somewhere and clean up or what so that way I'll be good to just take my riding pants on and have shorts off underneath but I didn't want you guys to miss the coolest part it's like magic dun, dun, dun. I should play that 2001 music Whoopa! look at that Ooh, yeah wow. yeah I'm full dad mode right now like I should be dropping puns left and right with this. There's two, don't worry, don't worry, there's more. I know you like it. Yeah. We're literally at the campground where this thing is happening. We just have to ride out and around to where the day use area is. But uh, all backed up, campsite's clear, fire's all the way out. Even left a bonus piece of wood for somebody. Aren't we the nicest? Super stoked. Thank you all for coming. You're incredible human beings. Whoa, nice. Nice, oh, Come on, you nice fine. Ready. It's hard to get this. It's like freaking clothes. Holy bro. That's right there is the ocean. Right there. You can see it.